A wise person once said that I was not a bangable host enough for you. But in wiser senses, they said this. And it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. <laughs> Oh, no, you didn't, Frost. Anyway, uh, if you remember, I covered this story. I'm a little late to the party because, you know, a little late to the party. It appears that everybody else and their mom has already covered this. All of my friends out there. Well, not really my friends, but uh, Clownfish TV, The Quartering, uh, even It's a Gundam weighed in on this, who I love It's a Gundam. He's the man. He does some of the best videos out there. Be sure to check him out. Who else did it? Ryan Cannell. Ryan Cannell was probably one of the first ones to grab onto this. Uh, as you can see, G4 seems to have pivoted on its channels. It is a little confusing because I thought... Their hosts were not supposed to be pretty on the eyes for them. And, you know, I feel a little bit bad because, look, Frosk is not someone who should be attacked or made fun of. You know, look, if you thought you were signing up for a certain agenda on your certain channel, I'm sure you would feel okay about it. And that whole speech was 100% scripted. So for those of you just following this, G4 had a bit of a meltdown where they gave one of their hosts, Frosk, who you see in that last clip that I played, they gave her a script and helped her work through her anger with uh, the chats that they have. And she can see them. She can see what they're saying. It's very, very misogynistic. What we then have is a turn where G4 has decided to change their channel. Very confusing. They're going from G4 to... Xplay TV, and I'm just going to read a little bit of it, and then I'm going to present to you, our good, dear listener, what they have changed to, which is a little interesting. So we're all in this together. G4 relaunched, and they're going to try a new approach, probably because they gave Frost that script and she basically destroyed any fan base. When you build something that's uh, built on nostalgia, and then you come back and say, we don't want that nostalgia, and from what I've seen, because I haven't really watched it, but I've seen clips from other people, it's not all that funny. And there's reviews or not. It's confusing as to who actually does the reviews of the games, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, X-Play was their top show back in the day. So they're going to do some Resident Evil 5-style inventory management, if you know what I mean. <laughs> if you like video games, pleasant nerd. Uh, so they're optimizing the G4 platform, and here's some adjustments you may notice on their YouTube channel. Oh, they decided to shuffle because they killed their channel, and they're hoping to save it with X-Play. Videos on demand and reviews. Yeah, they're going to do more esports and tournaments. Really? Everybody else is reporting, and I do not do any research on this. So I'm not going to look at how many subs their channel has. More than I do... But they've definitely made, uh, they've lost quite a few subscribers. And I just think their relevance is, is very low. I do know that they got caught botting. So there's a lot going on there that is no bueno. They claim they're going to keep the party going. So it's not necessarily going to be G4. It's going to be X-Play. They're going to see you in the lands between Phil for marketing. Thanks, Phil, for marketing. I really appreciate this. So I did do a little tiny tiny bit of investigating as to what the new show is going to, well, some of the new shows. And I just want to point this out. The, the G4 channel that currently holds all those sweet X-Play VODs and reviews will become the brand new X-Play channel. So you're switching to X-Play, which is much, much less confusing than playing Elden Ring. Elden Ring is is not that confusing. I've never played a Dark Souls game ever, and I picked up Elden Ring. Yeah, it's a little confusing for a noob. <laughs> it's a tough game. Don't get me wrong, but I love it. And there's a reason why a lot of people love it. Uh, check us out. Sometimes we do live streams. If you want to play with us, maybe we'll give you that sweet, sweet password. 
You just got to DM us in our Instagram. Uh, but I wanted to point out, let's take a look at what their new, some of their new content that came out after Frost went on her tirade. Now, let me see if I can adjust this a teeny tiny bits. They have four V-streaming girls. And this is my old man shouts at clouds response to things. You dig nibbit your clouds out there. I'm just going to shout at things because while maybe I don't find this entertaining or maybe I do because I don't necessarily know what V Twitch girls are. I guess they're girls who have avatars and then they talk in sultry anime voices. A little confused as what's going on here because there are four VTube girls, two dudes dressed like pimps from the 80s who have no business being dressed like pimps in the 80s because they are really struggling to pull it off. And uh, they're holding some shake weights. But I'll just give you a taste, and then you can make a decision on your own. It's just a taste. That's right. M M ladies, if you want to come out and try this shake weight, please, by all means. By all please. means. No, please. That's yeah, right. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Oh, okay. Give it up for Amaranth, everybody. I've been doing it wrong the whole time. Yeah, me too. All right. Snuffy. What do you think? Ooh, sorry, I was I was just I was like mesmerized by something. That's so did you I am very confused. I <laughs> I am very confusing. <laughs> I'm very confusing. Uh for those of you who don't know who Amaranth is, uh, she's one of the top from what I know, because I am a total idiot, and you could tell me in the comments below more about Amaranth, because I don't know anything. But it appears there are some attractive ladies. There's some other footage of her jumping out of a ball pit in a bikini. You can find that on your own. Amaranth is a, I'm going to say either, I think she's a YouTuber, maybe a Twitch streamer. I don't know. She invented AMSR, the thing where you like whisper very sexily. Or she's like one of those super CTs. Like she teases everything where you can't necessarily see anything unless you pay. Maybe she's an OnlyFans chick. I don't know. Very attractive young lady who is uh, shaking a weight all over herself. And then she's a very attractive young friend behind her. This is the, you can't tell me you didn't bring this girl to shake a weight in her face so that she's not attractive on the eyes for you. Just point it out there. Just throw it out there. Could be a thing. Maybe it's not. I mean, if you either have, here are your choices. And I swear I am not making fun. <laughs> column A. Column B. Column A. Column B. And this is not, this is my channel. They've clearly made a pivot. They've clearly made a change. There's a change going on here. I don't know if you see it. Just for posterity's sake. Column A. <laughs> Column B. Maybe something wasn't resonating with their fans, and they decided to get all sorts of nostalgic. So anyway, what do you think? Are you excited about this? Are you tired of me shaking my fist at the clouds? Please explain to me what Amaranth is. I, I'm sure Amor means love and Ranth means that she's a rancor in disguise. I don't know, but tell me if I'm wrong. Her friend has purple hair that matches her dress. That's right. You heard it all from here. Me, Z, at Our Reviews Will Kill You, Live Audio Podcast, Friday Streaming, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and you can download it and all those great things. Like and subscribe because... We love you. We'll give you more of this and uh, more titillation, if you will. So anyway, I am on to the next one. Uh -huh.